Oh, well, in the very beginning, uh, in New York, before he, he got ill, we, he had us working on a, a story of Prahlad Maharaj and Hiranyakashipu. And so he was describing to us, he wanted, he was really keen on having this into a slideshow for children. And um, this was his vision, which eventually manifested. And uh, so he had us working on this, and he would tell us all about the poses. He would pose, he posed for Hiranyakashipu on one leg, and he used to pose for Lord Nishingadev, and he loved to pose for Lord Nishingadev. He would come in at least once a day and do a roar. I mean, he would come in and describe how Lord Nishingadev, and his eyes would get big, and you could see the white up above, coming out of the column. This was, this was his delight. He, he enjoyed this very much. And once, uh, once Jadarani had him uh, posed, uh, he wrapped a dhoti, a white dhoti, you know, and then into a threefold bending posture, you know, so that we could see how the pleats fell. So he posed like Krishna. And uh, he was very, uh, you know, he was right there watching us, seeing what we were doing. He would come in and, and uh, see how we were doing it. And once I had these, uh, there was this picture of Prahlad sitting in the boiling oil. And so I had to, you know, come up with some demons. Like I never, I didn't know what demons were like. So I think I probably dug them out of a Hieronymus Bosch painting, you know, here, you know, this, somehow I got these demons in there. And so I, I asked Prabhupada, you know, after I did them, you know, got them drawn in, were they okay? And he says, oh, yes, yes, this is very good. And he says, there are such demons, they're like this. And uh, uh, he's, he's saying, yes, even on, this, even on this planet, there are such demons. And I said, oh, really? I didn't know that. And he looked at me and he said, there are a lot of things you do.